Welcome, 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 welcome to DayZ on the PlayStation 4. Welcome to Chineris, although this video applies just as much to the Xbox and the PC version as well. Because what I'm going to be talking about today in this video is uh, persistence and how you can keep your loot, how you can keep your loot, how you can keep your gear, your weapons, your food and all that sort of stuff in between deaths and also how you can you know keep more stuff than you can carry in other words how you can create a nice simple stash or cache um, or hidey hole where you can keep your stuff and even if you don't have it on you when you quit out or you die you know you can come back to this stash or cache and you can get the stuff you want so this is my simple cache here um, we're in uh, Severgrad just south of the school just by the stream and my stash consists of two things at the moment. There is a uh, cooking pot, which is buried underneath that uh, pile of dirt there. And I have a barrel here, and it's all kind of, I mean, it's not completely hidden, but I chose this location because there's no real reason for people to run or walk through this area. You know, you're not going from one place to the other. So you'd have to be really looking for something to come and find this. Now, Barrels are really good for keeping stuff in. In fact, let's let's open up and you can have a have a quick look. And so look at all look, look at all this stuff. We've got full magazines. We've got food. We've got masking tape. We've got sewing kits. We've got gun repair kits. We've got scopes. We've got loads and loads of stuff. In fact, we have got. So I need to take something out of it actually, um, which is the. Uh, uh, there we go. Come on, let me do it. I want the uh, spade. Right, okay. Uh, so as I was saying, barrels are really cool because you can fit loads of stuff in them. Let me just close it up. Um, and they are portable. Now this one isn't because it's full of stuff. I'm pretty sure I can't pick it up now. Um, I'm not going to bother trying. But I found it in a, uh industrial site. Um, just kind of over here. So it was a... Just beyond those houses there, there was a load of garages, I think. Um, and, you know, the mini warehouses type things. And I found a barrel. And what you do is, when you find a barrel, you uh, put it to your hands, and then you can walk very, very slowly with it. You kind of waddle. <laughs> and I brought it over here behind this tree. And I plonked it down, and I put a load of kit in there. And I've been on a couple of missions to top it up with stuff as well. And this is a couple of deaths ago as well. Now, in order for this to work, you have to make sure you pick a persistent server, and you have to make sure you remember the server number that you were on and also you have to really remember the location of where it is because Chineris is a big big map and if you're just a little bit vague you might uh, might struggle um, now there's lots of different techniques for hiding stuff isn't there you know you could argue maybe you should hide it in plain sight but I know with me if I see a barrel the first thing I do is open it up just in case somebody has used it as a cache or a stash um, and do it that way so that's barrels barrels are really good um, now there are lots of different things you can use stash to stash and cache stuff in so that will stay between death stay between logging out um, but they do change um, so I'm just going to cover sort of the, the simple ones so we've got a barrel we've talked about barrel that's cool now if we have a look here <laughs> if we look um, if we look here there's a little uh, pile of dirt there isn't there should we should we dig up that pile of dirt so let's um, put it on my shoulder and let's get our spade out. Here we go. And let's um let's dig up this pile of dirt. And what could possibly be here? Ooh what's this? There is a cooking pot. <laughs> so uh Let's have a look, see what's in the cooking pot. Well, as you can see, in the cooking pot, th which is full, we've got more ammunition, and we've got a couple of magazines, CR527 magazines. Uh, I think that's some sort of sniper rifle. We've got an AK magazine, we've got an M4 magazine, and we've got loose ammo, and we've got a box of 762 by 39 ammo. Um, so as you can see, cooking pots, you can, you can put stuff in as well. Um, now, I've brought this bag along with me. This is a dry bag. This is another example of something you can bury. So, what I'll do is say if I wanted to bury some, bury this dry bag for use later. Let's, um, let's say I wanted to put, uh, I don't know. Say I wanted to put these bullets. First thing you want to do is put, put the stuff into your bag. Um, 
and you can do that by equipping the bag and moving stuff over or you can you know hold X or it would be A on the on the Xbox hold, hold it uh, press the left shoulder button then toggle down and you can fill the bag now then what you can do is that although it says dig up when you've got a spade in your hand if you just press R2 it's just good it, it's not digging it up it's digging a hole and it's going to put the dry bag into the hole now you can't do this with normal backpacks like the one I'm wearing there we go so that's gone and I tell you let's um let's cover up our cooking pot as well um, and you can't do it with military backpacks but you can do it with things like ammo cases if you ever find one um, protective cases um, the little dry the small dry bags I think you can do it with them as well um, sea chests let's see they've got two little now you could argue that these are these are p probably better uh, hiding things because you know you could put them right up against trees and things like that and you, you know you'd be hard push unless you were running along with a spade in your hand and it came up if I, if I put the spade away let's drop that spade if I'm just running along see there's no there's no visual indication that that something's there we're obviously with a with a barrel even though this one's quite hidden you know you could come across that um yeah so that's why the spade um is so important you might be able to do this with the pickaxe as well i'm not sure but a spade is very very important to do this now you may be wondering well rob wait a minute why have you given away where your um stash is well one thing you don't know what server this is on um so although you know the location you'd have to search for all the servers the other side of this is the fact that um, we've got the big wipe coming on consoles we've got the 1.4 wipe so what's going to happen is when the 1.4 wipe uh, update comes on all our characters are going to be wiped we're going to start again and all the maps are going to be completely wiped so all all these stashes and caches will, will simply disappear and you'll have to start again but as you can see this is a very powerful tool because especially if you find rarer items like things like for the la battle rifle or um, rarer uh, scopes or even r rarer weapons because I think we well, got a gun in here yeah there's a there's a there's a spare gun in here there's an SK uh, well they don't call it the SK do they it's, they call it the uh, the SK 59 is in there so I've got a spare gun in there you know but you know you could put a spare submachine gun on there if you if you your thing was like raiding the military bases um, you could you could put a barrel um, somewhere near a military base and then if you got some you know and say two m4s you could stash an m4 in there can you because they're really rare so so something that's rare now i you notice i haven't mentioned uh the base building or i haven't mentioned um uh, using tents and things to store stuff because you can do that but it's all a bit janky and i think we'll have to see we'll have to wait to see what happens until after the uh, 1.4 update to see how how that improves and obviously things like tents and when you build bases can be can be pretty obvious um, where I think you know if you were if you're like over here wandering along you've got to get pretty close to this barrel to go ooh there's a barrel there and as I say unless you had a spade in your hand these piles of dirt under which is my cooking pot and my dry bag you know you wouldn't notice at all and it's a really cool way of keeping that stash keeping that cache of loot of goodies of guns in between logging on and logging off you know if you can't carry the stuff and obviously if you die um, if you're wondering about persistence a anything that you have on you will always will always come with you when you leave a server um, when you leave and, and come back again you know anything that's in your hands will, will, will go that way so hopefully that's given you a little bit of an idea how you can keep stuff in Daisy um, you know find yourself a barrel put it somewhere safe remember where it is and then uh, then put stuff in it remember to close it or get yourself a spade get yourself something like a cooking pot or the dry bags or sea chests or things like that and you can bury them with stuff in <laughs> so hopefully that's helpful um, if you've got any other questions or comments please put them in the boxes down below remember you can support the channel through patreon um, you can hit the like you can hit the sub subscribe and um, we've now got a discord that concentrates on PUBG and uh, daisy as well and i'll put the link to that down below um and anyway well thank you for watching uh good luck on chenerius and good luck with your loot cash stash empire anyway that's enough from me and i will see you again soon